Hi people, today we will learn about bubble sort. Now what is bubble sort? It is an algorithm which is used to sort the array in ascending or descending order. Now uh, today we will learn with the help of an example how to sort the array in ascending order. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so this is the array. Okay, so 77, 42, 35, 12, 101 and 5. So this is the 0th index, then 1st till 5. So there are 6 elements in this array. Now what we want is, we want this in sorted, uh, the sorted array. Okay, the 5 is the smallest number, so it should be in 1st. And 101 is the largest number, it should be in the last. So let's see how we will do this. So first of all, what we need to do is, in bubble sort, we need to compare each element with their consecutive element, means the element next to them. And if the left side element is bigger than the right side element, then what we do is we swap these two. After swapping, we continue to the next two elements, then these two, means at first 77 and 42 will be compared. So uh, because 77 is greater than 42, 42 will be coming here and 77 will go there. So swapping is done. Now since 77 is here now, so 77 and 35 will be compared. So 35 is smaller, so 35 will come here and 77 will be here. So this is how we will proceed. Let's see. So the largest element, which is the largest element here in this case, it is 77 right now. So let's swap. Okay, so done. The next element is 35. Next swapping will be done between 35 and 77. So now let, uh, since 77 is greater than 35, let us swap it again. Okay. Now the next swap will be done between 77 and 12. So now 77 is greater than 12. So 12 needs to be at first. So let's swap it done so now next is 77 and 101 77 is smaller than 101 so swapping is not required here so no need to swap now 101 and 5 5 is smaller so 5 will come here 101 will be at the last so we got the largest value at last so our first task is done now if you see that the entire array is not sat sorted just we got the largest value at last so now what we will do let us check out the example uh, the algorithm now this is the bubble function what is happening here we are passing the array and the number of elements in this case our array has six elements so n is equal to six now we have i and j these are the two iterators that we are using so for i is equal to zero i is less than n minus one what will we will do i plus plus okay so for j is equal to zero j is less than n minus i minus one j plus plus this is a nested for loop now why we are going till n minus i minus one because as you can see the last element was already uh, sorted so the greatest element uh, went to the last and it was sorted okay so now we need uh, now we will have to do one less comparison okay so we will sort the first five elements only we will ignore the last one okay so that is why we are going till n minus i minus one okay now if arrj is greater than arrj plus one means the left element is greater than its immediate right element at that time what swap now why we are using ampersand because we are uh, swapping using call by reference so that means what the swap will happen at the memory location and not just in the scope of this function so even if we want to check the array from void main then also the swap will be visible there right so now what is the swap function so here two variables we are passing two values along uh, pointers along with the addresses now what is happening this is a temporary variable in this we are storing uh, storing the first one okay now the in the first one we are replacing the first value with the second value okay so x value if we are passing 5 and 6 then 6 will be in 5 and 5 will be stored in t now since uh, x value is 6 now y's value will be equal to t now what was t t was 5 so 6 and 5 so it got swapped okay now let us see what is happening the largest one is at last but since the uh, other elements of the array are not sorted so we'll have to continue the previous process and then we'll sort it okay so how many iterators and uh, iterations are needed if we have n elements then we'll have to repeat the bubble sort n minus one times because why mm, uh, from uh, every time we change the um, uh, every time we place one element at the last it will be fixed then we'll have one less iteration to do okay so this is this way we can uh, correctly place all the elements so now let us see bubbling all the elements so what is happening here the first uh, uh, after doing the last step 101 was at the last right 
Now what we will do, we will again do the swapping process. So 42 will be swapped with 35 because 42 is greater. So 35 and 42 will be here. Now 42 will be swapped with 12. So 12 will come here and 42 will go there. So this is something we will get. Now 12 and 77 don't need to be swapped because 77 is greater than 12. Now 77 and 5 will be swapped. So 5 will come here and 77 here. And no need to swap these two. Oh, well, this is fixed. Whatever I am writing here in red is fixed. So now you can fix 77 because among these the largest element is 77. Now we have what 35, 12, 42 and 5. Following the same procedure 12 will come at first, 35 will come here. Now 35 and 42 will be compared but 35 is smaller than 42 so uh, no need to swap it. Then 42 and 5 will be compared. So since 42 is greater 42 will come here and 5 will be here. So now fix 42 also since it was the greatest among these four. Now when we are comparing 12 and 35 no need to swap but in 5 and 35 we will need to swap. Okay so here 35 is coming here 5 is here. So now fix 35 also since it was greatest among these three. Now in the last step what will happen 12 and 5 will be swapped because 12 is greater so 5 is here 12 is here and this is our resulting array. So how many iterations we needed n minus 1 and we have elements n so remember that okay. So thank you for watching hope you understood this lecture thanks for watching.